Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacterium that causes tuberculosis, has evolved an arsenal that allows it to evade and even exploit host defenses that are designed to kill bacteria. Here we will take a look at the very first events that occur when the tubercle bacillus first lands in the host. An infected individual with active tuberculous granulomas coughs up the bacteria in small droplets. These droplets are inhaled by an individual nearby and the smallest ones make their way to the terminal branches of the lung called alveolar spaces or sacs. TB is a deep-seated infection and the bacteria have to establish themselves in the deeper area of the lung, the interstitium. For this, they have to make their way across from the alveolar space through a tight epithelial barrier. But there's a formidable host defense awaiting the bacteria right in the alveolar space, and that is the alveolar macrophage. Most bacteria produce a chemoattractant that attracts the alveolar macrophages to them. The alveolar macrophages engulf the bacteria and are capable of killing most types of bacteria, including virulent mycobacteria. So as we shall see, many strains of mycobacteria express a special surface lipid called phenolic glycolipid, or PGL, that allows them to escape out of the alveolar macrophage that is trying to kill it. First, let's see what happens to mycobacteria that do not express PGL. They get taken up by the alveolar macrophages and killed. PGL expressing mycobacteria are just as susceptible to the alveolar macrophages microbicidal defenses. But the PGL activates a cytosolic sensing pathway called STING. STING causes the alveolar macrophage to produce a chemokine called CCL2 that attracts monocytes from the blood. Monocytes expressing the CCL2 receptor, CCR2, come to the infected alveolar macrophage. A monocyte then fuses to the alveolar macrophage, allowing the bacteria to transfer over to the monocyte. The newly infected monocyte crosses the lung epithelium into the interstitium. It is essentially a taxi cab for the bacteria. The monocyte is less microbicidal than the alveolar macrophage so that the bacteria can survive and grow in it. Once inside the host's body, the bacteria employ new tactics to grow and spread. They recruit new monocytes to the original infected monocyte by a different mechanism from the one I have just described. This forms the tuberculous granuloma within which the bacteria can multiply and get ready to invade the next host. And then the infection cycle can be initiated again by the strategy we have just seen.